We all know video games do a great job at playing with our emotions, some more than others. And with the rise in popularity of Counter-Strike Global Offensive, it comes without saying that this game has been the source of multiple jokes and laughs. But what other scenarios has this game caused? Other than making me wanna fucking kill myself! Today, we talk about the top 3 saddest CSGO stories. Number 3. Old Man Jeremy Definitely the oldest person on this list, Jeremy Hernandez, also known as Old Man Jeremy, was a 78-year-old man who found joy playing many different video games. His favorite, however, and the one he spent most of his time on, was Counter-Strike Global Offensive. In fact, the only thing Jeremy loved as much as playing Counter-Strike was the taste of crispy KFC chicken. Also, Jeremy's white. Alright, you racist bastard. This terrible tragedy happened on June 17th, 1952. The old man was enjoying his time playing some competitive matchmaking with his friends, when his beautiful daughter decided to surprise him with a family sized bucket of KFC. And in that moment of him hitting a quad collateral in-game combined with the greasy smell of his soon-to-be digested chicken, it was just too much for the old man's heart to handle. He then died instantaneously of a heart attack. Number 2. Seb the Rat Seb the Rat has a very particular story. Born with the name Sebastian Woodcock, he had been playing video games all his life and was actually pretty good at them. Even if he wasn't the best, he would always keep practicing until he got better. It was just in his character. It was only until earlier this year that his failure to do good had got to him. Seb constantly played with one of his good friends named Darzy. Darzy, being the talented and ingenious man that he was, constantly set world records on various surf maps within the Counter-Strike community servers. But the Rat had enough of Darzy's gloating and set a goal for himself to beat Darzy's high score. On February 4th, 2016, the young Sebastian had spent more than 22 hours in front of his gaming monitor with no breaks to eat or even go to the bathroom. His mother, being very concerned for his health, went to the basement to check up on him, only to find out that he had fully transformed into a disgusting, dirty rat. He was never heard from again. Number 1. The Real MC our final sad story comes from a man named Leonardo DiCaprio. Uh, not the famous one, this one had no friends. Anyway, Leonardo had been given the nickname The Real MC for reasons we will find out shortly. His casual day consisted of him going online and playing a lot of Counter-Strike. In fact, that's the only thing his day consisted of at all. Playing CSGO day in day out had poor DiCaprio dazed and confused, making him wonder what is fake and what is reality. Getting in online arguments constantly, Leonardo found himself getting bullied every hour of the day. But on December 16th, 2014, he just couldn't handle it anymore. He found the largest building in his town. He went on the roof, stood on the edge, looked down as one tear fell from his face, and took a picture as his new hobby consisted of becoming a photographer. But sadly, two years later, he found a new passion in making Minecraft Let's Play videos, which we all know is the saddest story of them all. And that's our list. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any other stories you'd like to share with anyone, please tell them in the comment section below. Also, if you guys could refresh the page at least 20,000 times, that'd be great because my kids are fucking starving. I've been your host, Arbonzel, and uh, yeah, stay dang.